Hello! As you will be able to tell if you watched my previous video, um, I am sat in the exact same place that I finished that one because we are rolling on. We are creating content um, and I am going to vlog this weekend as well. I loved vlogging London. Like it was, it was quite a lot of effort, but it was really, really fun. And I loved, like it was super rewarding to put the final vlog together and like have that, I don't know, piece of content as like my first video. I was really proud of it. I know some people, some people will be like, Jordan, you've just taken clips and edited them together, but it was really fun. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to vlog this weekend because I do have a lot coming up. <clears throat> I am slightly unwell, which is not ideal. Um, I did get ill when I was in London. I kind of ended the video, the London vlog with that because I did, I think I said at the beginning that I was like, I felt like I was getting ill. Fingers crossed I wasn't. And then of course I got ill. So yeah, this week's been a bit of a write-off, but I have loads of plans this weekend and I was like, I really, really don't want to miss out on these plans. Tonight I'm going for dinner with a friend who's been traveling for the past three months, so I've not seen her in ages and I'm really, really excited to catch up and hear about all of her travels. She's also moving to London, so that's really exciting. So it's a bit of like, she literally flew in to Edinburgh last night or like got in this morning or something, so she's like, probably going to be knackered but it'll be so nice to see her and catch up and I'm also seeing a few of her friends which are going to go for I think we're going to go for Mexican um at a place called Pav I believe it's P-A-V and it's like tacos and like cocktails and stuff so that'll be really nice and I love Mexican so it'll be really yeah hopefully it'll be really nice um and then tomorrow <coughs> oh my god I'm gonna have to remember to bring strep cells with me or something because this is not okay sorry that she's had a coughing fit um and then tomorrow i have some plans with my mum and her friend so it'll be really nice to see her and just catch up and see my mum obviously um and then on sunday i think i have brunch plans but like nothing too much so yeah i thought, thought i'd vlog the weekend and it's a bit like an edinburgh chill vlog i'm going out to a lot of places so hopefully that'll provide some um recommendations if you're looking for any recommendations to do here um but yeah i'm gonna head out in I've still got a bit of time like 10 15 minutes i'm gonna get a tram because the weather is honestly for like mid end of march like i was actually thinking when we had that lockdown summer and it was like i was in a bikini in my garden i think it was at like the start of april so like kind of give or take a couple of weeks but I'm now looking out to be fair it is blue skies but I'm looking out my window to like a blizzard and it's been like on and off rain all day so yeah I'm kind of dreading going out but I'm gonna get the tram along so I don't have to walk but I thought I would show you what I'm wearing if I can in this vicinity excuse the mess of our living room but as with all spring days it's like a little bit of one of those like what do I wear days because it's kind of mild but like windy and kind of cold and raining and yeah stressful so I'm gonna wear this H&M um, navy jumper and then I've just got my necklaces stacked on top um, and I've got my rings as well I just thought like throw in a load of jewellery and then it'll make me look a bit more put together and then I've got a white t-shirt on just underneath which desperately needs an iron but you can't really see and then I've just got my cargoes and my Solomons on I just thought chill vibes and then I think I'm gonna pop on this vintage blazer oh my god vintage blazer on top like that and then just have like this popping through and then I think I'm gonna bring this bag as a bit of a pop of colour and then I might throw on a balaclava because I'm thinking with being kind of ill I don't want to take the piss so I might just put this on as like a layer I'm sure that was really attractive um but I don't really know how this is gonna look with the blazer but I just thought for warmth and yeah I think I'll just wear this Okay, I've actually decided against that balaclava. Um, and I'm just going to freeze. Well, I'm probably not going to freeze. It's not that cold. Um, but yes, I am going to go and get some Mexican food and catch up with my gals. And yeah, I will see you in the next part of this video.
Good morning, it is Saturday now and I'm just about to head out for some afternoon tea. Um, last night was really fun, I thought I would give you a little bit of a roundup and a review of where we went. And um, we went to Paz, I think I said Pav in my previous clip, but it is Paz, P-A-Z or P-A-Z, um, was the Mexican place we went to. We did have to wait about half an hour for a table. Um, sorry if you can hear the wind outside, it is literally so stormy in Edinburgh today, um, hence why I am wearing a massive jumper, because it's freezing. Um, but yes, we had to wait like half an hour for a table, which was kind of expected because you can't book, um, but we just went around the corner to a bar to have a drink. And then we had some Mexican food, which was so good. I had the chicken tacos and the, I think it was like potato tacos, um, which was so surprisingly filling. Like it was only four like little tacos, but I was so full by the end. So yeah, it was really, really good. And then I had a non-alcoholic, it was kind of like a non-alcoholic cocktail. It was really, really good. It was, they didn't really call it a mocktail, but it was like a Mexican kind of, I don't really know how to describe it. It was like spicy. It was almost like almost like a margarita, but a little bit more like syrupy. Um, it was really really good though. Um, and it was only like four pounds, so I was really happy with that. Um, so yeah, I would really really recommend that actually if you're looking for a kind of like chill Friday night dinner. Um, it was really nice atmosphere. It was quite small as well. So yeah, I was really impressed. Um, I've never been. So yeah, check Paz out if you are in town um but yeah this morning it is actually blue skies and sunny but it is really really windy and the temperature just the temperature just seems to be absolutely freezing um especially edinburgh is kind of known as a bit of a windy city so yeah it's cold today so i'm wrapped up warm i'll show you what i'm wearing for the afternoon tea so this knit sorry my boyfriend's making a coffee and you can probably hear it in the background um this knit is from Topshop on asos i absolutely love it it's such a stunning fair isle knit and i love the colors as well and it's super super thick so it's really nice and cozy um and then i've just got it on with this zara skirt and um, which has been very badly ironed by me and then these boots are actually from boohoo they've got this really nice buckle detail um all the way up the side which I love um so I'm gonna wear this and then I'm gonna put on a jacket and a bag which I'll show you so then for my jacket I'm wearing this red leather jacket from Vinted it's kind of like boxy with this cool collar detail and I've just got my black 90s bag on so yeah I'm gonna go and have afternoon tea I'm so excited for afternoon tea in ages um but yeah I'm looking forward to it a lot and I'm probably gonna pop around the shops I need to do a few returns as well and then I don't have any plans for the rest of the day, but you can come along with me and yeah, see what I get up to. me back from afternoon tea oh my god i am stuffed like we had so much food and it doesn't even look like that much but then when you have like cakes and sandwiches and tea it just all adds up so yeah i am absolutely stuffed i've just come home chucked on some leggings and a big jumper and i'm just gonna chill for like an hour just to let all my food go down um because oh my god it was it was a lot but it was super super yummy and I would highly recommend if you are in Edinburgh and you want to go for like a nice afternoon tea Will's Tea Rooms is lovely the staff were lovely and um, the food was really really good as well but one thing to bear in mind if you are wanting to drink have a little glass of Prosecco um they don't have their alcohol license yet so I think you have to bring your own booze which is fine it was pretty chill and um, we didn't actually drink but it was really nice and I saw people um like getting their Prosecco put into glasses and stuff so yeah I honestly think it doesn't really make a big difference. I think this evening we don't have too many plans Um, my boyfriend George is in tonight as well so I think we're probably just gonna have a chill movie night and I'm feeling quite tired even though I am kind of almost fingers crossed back to full health I am feeling quite tired so I think we might just have a chill one um and yeah have a wild saturday night but yes i will keep you updated with what we get up to 
One thing I didn't mention when I was out was I bought some sunglasses. Um, I met my mum in the St. James because she was getting the bus through and I was like, actually, I need some sunglasses with some time to kill. Um, and I thought, I actually do need to buy a new pair. It is quite sunny today and my previous sunglasses, which to be fair, I've had for like a year now, I think they were just Pull and Bear ones. They broke a couple of weeks ago um, and obviously I've not been really noticing any impact because it's not been that sunny here um but it has been sunny today and i was like oh i need a new pair so went into and other stories um and to be honest the selection wasn't great anywhere really i mean obviously it's not really quite spring so i'm trying to get the label off these um it's not quite spring but there was options which is none of them were groundbreaking and they were all just like too much i don't know if that makes sense like i'm a very just like chilled sunglasses person although I am you know like colorful fashion and like you know patterns and stuff I do just tend to go for like a more kind of yeah simple sunglasses shape and style and there just wasn't anything everything was quite chunky and just didn't really sit very well on my face I don't think I'm really like a glasses person anyway so that also probably does um affect it more than other people but yeah these are the glasses that i got so and they were in the sale as well i think they were like 17 pounds yeah let me just check the label yeah 17 pounds um although i don't know if the girl thought that they weren't meant to be in the sale she was like oh these are in the sale and i was like yeah they are <laughs> let me have a discount um so yeah i got these they're so nice they're like a um toy toy tur toy toys tur toys shell um kind of finish I guess and they are in this shape I never really had sunglasses in this shape before but I thought I'd give them a go I'll try them on and show you how they look um they're just like quite angled I feel like they look quite cool with my hair a bit more curly um but that's what they look like and I'm actually really happy with these I feel like they look really cute just like on your head as well which is always a great little tip for keeping your hair back and things like that so I just thought I would show you because I always think Andrew's stories have really nice bits and it's so handy having the St James like just up the road honestly it's probably where the majority of my um disposable income that I probably should be saving goes um because it is way too tempting to just go up there and shop around so yeah I thought I would show you those because I'm pretty happy with them so it's about half six and I'm kind of feeling like I want a drink so I thought we could make a drink together so um I'm not drinking at the moment so I picked up a couple of weeks ago this um non-alcoholic spirit I just realized it's open um non-alcoholic spirit from a brand called Pentire that I thought I would just make a drink with you because it is so good I've tried it well yeah the bottle is like almost half finished um but I bought it with a kind of like Aperol spritz dupe in mind and oh my god it is not quite as like intense and sweet as Aperol spritz but it's still really really good and kind of gets the job done for like a refreshing summer drink I'm truly manifesting summer with this so yeah I basically just got a glass with some ice and then I'm actually going to mix it with a kombucha I love this kombucha it's hip hop and they have the most amazing flavours. This one is ginger and yuzu, but they do uh, loads of other flavours that I love. And I buy them in like a, I think it's like a pack of 24. You can get them in a pack of 12 as well, or like four or whatever. But I just go for the 24 pack because you get a little bit of a discount if you buy in bulk. Um, it is quite expensive, but I love drinking this on like a weekend or if I'm like wanting something a bit more refreshing or generally if I'm like craving a Diet Coke. I will drink one of these because they're amazing for your gut health as well um, and I'm quite addicted to Diet Coke and it's obviously not the best for you so yeah love mixing my drinks or to be honest I say that I've not actually mixed this with this before I have mixed this with non-alcoholic gin before which I mean non-alcoholic gin is I guess a bit less like flavorful but I thought these would go quite well together so I'm going to try it so I think I'm just going to do like a double shot of this Um, I realised I didn't actually say what the spirit was, but this is the Coastal Spritz from Pentara. I'll show you the bottle as well. It's so 
pretty as well. So yeah, I've just done a um, double shot of that and it's such a nice colour as well. Um, and then pop in the hip hop. Mm -mm -mm. My camera just handily cut off there. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. It's kind of gone a weird colour, but I'm sure it'll taste nice with a taste test. Ooh, that's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy this and probably just chill this evening because we don't really have too many plans. I might make like a light dinner because I'm not really that hungry after afternoon tea. But yeah, um, I'll catch up with you probably either tomorrow or later on. Good morning, it is Sunday now. Sorry for not really vlogging much last night, but we just had a chill one, got our takeaway. We had a Chinese, which was 10 out of 10, to be honest. Um, I had chicken chai mein, which I've never actually had before, but I was fancying noodles and, oh my God, it was amazing. So we had that and then just chilled and then got on early night where we were both quite tired. Um, and then this morning I am going for, well, I say this morning, it is 11.30. Um, I'm meeting a friend for brunch. We're going to go to Rock Salt Cafe in Leith. Hopefully we'll get a table because... I don't think you can book, or at least you can't book online. Um, but every time I've been, I've just walked in and got a table. So we're going to go there and then I don't really know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but you can come along and yeah, we'll see what we get up to. Before I go though, I thought I would show you what I'm wearing for brunch. Um, I find it really hard to like film outfits on this camera, um, like this format, but I'll try and show you. Um, it's a pretty chill outfit anyway. So I've just got this um, striped shirt on. I'm actually wearing this all the time at the moment. I think this is H&M. I don't know, I think so. Um, and I've just got a white vest top. I think this is a weekday vest top. I actually love this vest top. I love the way that it's cut. Um, and then I've just got this necklace on from Miss and the Jewelry. And then I've just got black jeans on and um, my Nikes um, for trainers. And then on top, I'm going to wear this really fun um, quilted jacket that I got off of Vinted last year. Um, and I don't really like the collar, so I'm going to try and like tuck it in like that. I wore this in London and it was great and it is quite warm actually, it's quite thick. So I feel like it's like 10 degrees today, so I feel like it will provide a little bit of warmth but also look cute and then for my bag i'm just gonna bring this bag as well i thought i lost this bag and i refound it and i just feel like i've re-found a bit of a love for it so yeah this is the fit for brunch <laughs> from brunch and I have just cleaned our bathrooms and um, made our bed which Sunday reset is just my meditation at the weekend. I love just resetting the flat and getting sorted for the week um, and yeah it just makes me feel organised, clean and ready for the week ahead so it's so nice I've been able to have time to do that because I feel like over these past few weekends I've been really busy and just not had time to like prioritise the flat and get everything sorted for the week. It's also bank holiday weekend next week so um, we are kind of chock-a-block with plans and seeing family. It's also my mum's my birthday next weekend so yeah it's just nice to kind of get a bit of a head start on cleaning and stuff. Um, sorry if the birds are distracting or loud, they are going for it but I love this time of year and when the birds are just tweeting and it's sunny. It's a gorgeous day today. We end up getting an outside table at Rock Salt which was so nice um, and I literally sat in the sun and was like I think I got a little bit burnt on the side of my face. You can't really tell what makeup on um, but it was just gorgeous. We had pancakes and bacon and um, I had a smoothie which was great and yeah just sat in the sun it was honestly so warm I was like just in my shirt I had a jacket on but took my jacket off so yeah summer is coming guys um but yeah so I thought to be honest I'm just gonna round up the video here because I don't have too many plans for the rest of the day I think I'm just gonna 
get some kind of admin bits done like life admin bits and then just chill have some dinner and yeah just have like a relaxed sunday it's been quite a chill weekend which has been quite nice very wholesome vibes um which i very much needed after being ill and just a bit of a reset i've got a busy week of work next week and then as i said it is bank holiday weekend next week which i'm thinking i may vlog which is yeah exciting i definitely have the vlogging bug now um which you know i'm not i'm not mad about it um it's really been really fun and i put my first vlog live this morning and yeah i'm just i'm really enjoying it it's really nice and it's just much more casual vibe on youtube i don't know like when i was vlogging for tiktok i always was like so conscious of like how long it was and i don't know i feel like on here oh god sorry you were slipping there <laughs> lost track of what i was saying there um but i feel like on tiktok i don't know i was always just conscious of like not making it too long and making i don't know all the tiktok stuff so um i'm really enjoying it on here so yeah i think um i might vlog next weekend as well which is exciting i've got some nice plans as well sorry my boyfriend's making a coffee if you heard that um yeah i've got some nice plans so yeah i may vlog that but i think i'm just gonna round up this video here and i will see you in the next one if you made it this far thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and yeah i will see you in the next video bye